God didn't put you on this earth to take a life that you didn't have. Oftentimes, you'll see Reverend Henry Brown and the women of Mothers United Against Violence standing beside families in a dark hour at a memorial for their loved ones who were murdered. We have to do this because we want to bring closure to a family, first of all, some kind of hope to a family, first of all, and then to find that justice. Today was no different. This time, it was for the family of 18-year-old Ernesto Morales, who was shot and killed on Tuesday. In the last month, the nonprofit has held five prayer vigils, one on August the 11th, 17th, 27th, September 15th, and now Ernesto's. Last week, we did a vigil for a young man. Now we back out here again for another young man. And it, it's just mind-boggling how people don't seem to get that this violence is real that people are actually dying. Reverend Brown says it's a grim reality for the city and for the people who live here who were all affected in some way by the string of violence. Hartford has already surpassed the amount of homicides from this time last year. There were 35 in total for 2021. So far, there's been 28 just this year. That's why I can't understand how we can sit back in this community and be silent about this issue when there's a daily threat to all our safety. But you'll still find them with each victim's family every time. No, we're not just out here doing vigils. That's a cry for hope. That's a cry for peace. That's a cry for safety. For families like Ornesto's.